The story of Maximilian Kolbe, a Catholic priest who gave up his life in the Nazi concentration camp Auschwitz so that another man could be saved, is to be dramatized in a play due to open here in London. Maximilian Kolbe was canonized, but the man he saved struggled to live with the sacrifice. The play Kolbe's Gift tells the true story of these two men. I think suffering will be my lot shortly, and it could be the lot of any one of you. In recent days, I felt anxious, troubled. I've been plagued by a dark spirit. But all that is in the past now. There is an indescribable calm in the depths of my heart. For suffering is the fire that purifies everything. Well, that was promotional material for the play, and I'm delighted to say that with me now is Martin O'Brien, the artistic director of the 1010 Theatre Company. Martin, this is a really difficult subject matter. Mm -hmm. What drew you to Father Colbe's story? I mean, it's, it's such an extraordinary story, really, um, being in Auschwitz, you know, uh, the, the most awful place, and a man who gave his life for a stranger. He didn't know... Franek, who, who's, whose life he, he gave it to. And I think it draws so many people to it, you know, this story of, um, of being in such a dark place and such a dark um, environment and to be able just to, for this man to give, give of himself. I think it's uh, uh, many, many people, thousands, millions of people are, are drawn to the story of Colbert. And the character, well, the, the Frenik Gajovnicek, who mm. was saved by this sacrifice, he really struggled to deal with that. And you tell his story as Absolutely. well. That's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. No, he did, you know. And remarkably, I mean, Frenik um, faced death a number of times afterwards, and he always felt that, that he was saved by Colby for some reason. And he felt his life didn't really mean anything by, uh, after he came out of Auschwitz, you know. He didn't make anything of it, or that's how he felt to himself. And he really struggled um, dealing with the fact that his life had been saved, and he wondered, what was that for? I think that's a really universal theme and idea, you know, what are we given our lives for? What are, what are our lives about? And I think that's what the play really explores. And we're looking at John Iwanu, who plays mm -hmm. Father Colby. That's, it's an extraordinary performance. Yeah, no, it really is, you know. And, and John, you know, really gets to the heart of Colby because he was an interesting character. You know, he was a very clever man. He was a leader. Um, Colby uh, had a fantastic career. He, he was a, a priest who, who built a monastery in a community, in one in Poland and one in Nagasaki in Japan. He'd learnt Japanese. He had a printing press of over a million copies of, of his magazine being read every month. Um, and so he wasn't a meek, mild, saintly figure. He was a leader. And yet, he, he put himself in that place. He was self-sacrifice. was right at the heart of Colby's life. And it, it's sacrifice. It's an incredibly dark, difficult topic. And yet you're sold out. Mm -hmm. There's obviously an interest for this. Yeah, yeah, there really is. You know, I think part of that is to do with certain communities know Colby well. Many other people don't. I've, I've been really fascinated by who knows of Colby and who doesn't. Um, you know, so the Catholic community know who he is. The Polish community know who he is. But then so many others don't. Um, and I think it's a story that is, uh, is, is going to be very interesting, I think, for our audiences. OK, well, that's opening up in London very shortly. It has sold out, but there's lots more information and you're working with schools yeah, as well. Yeah, there's more performances um, Martin O'Brien yeah. from the 1010 Theatre Company, thank you so much for talking to us thank about Colbe's Gift. Thank you.